Alan Jones, the fastest swimmer in the world in the 50-meter freestyle, a member of the world record-breaking 4x100 freestyle relay in 2006, visited the International Swimming Hall of Fame and learned about swimming history from Hall of Fame CEO Bruce Weigel. Following the tour, Colin gave a motivational talk at the Carver Ranch's Boys and Girls Club, which was followed by a swimming exhibition in the club's pool. It included a race against members of the local Fort Lauderdale Aquatic Swim Team. Hi, I'm Bruce Weigel, the CEO of the International Swimming Hall of Fame, and I'm here with Colin Jones, currently ranked the fastest swimmer in the world, who's here for a visit to the Hall of Fame while he's training in South Florida in Boca Raton. And Colin, welcome to the Hall of Fame. Thank you. Thank you for having me. This has been uh, quite the experience. I'm, I'm loving every minute of it. Now, we've gone through some of the history of swimming here today, and I know that uh, you, you know there's some great swimmers leading the way, but there really hasn't been an African-American swimmer since, I would guess, Duke Kahanamoku back in the 1920s. And then there was Chris Silva, who was the captain of a U.S. national team in the 1980s. And uh, Anthony Irvin, of course, won an Olympic gold medal in 2000, but... Right now, you appear to be looking at uh, becoming the first real dominant African-American swimmer. And I know Nike thinks so, as you've signed a deal with them. But what are your thoughts on that and, and the place of what you're doing in the historical perspective? Uh, definitely the biggest thing that I'm trying to do is, is to carry the torch. Um, I think that Anthony Irvin has passed it on to me. I haven't met him yet, but hopefully I will. Um, and right now, I would just love to spread the word because I'd love for African-American kids to understand that there is a road beyond basketball and football right now. And uh, carrying the torch does seem to have a little bit of burden, but that's what um, I started swimming for. I mean, it, it's not necessarily to, to make myself look great, but to help the kids understand and definitely as I've been swimming and, and uh, progress throughout the, the sport. That has been something that's been um, a goal of mine is to, to help kids. What advice would you give to other African Americans who may be interested in swimming or what would you tell just members of the African American community about why swimming is a good sport? Well first off just for the uh, safety issue um, I know a lot of kids love to be at the pool. Um, when I was younger I'd love just going to the pool and playing around but there is a safety issue um, of drowning and since African Americans are more at risk of drowning um, that is very important. Um, but on the other hand of being competitive I just think that it is something a road that it's healthy for the African American race and, and with a problem of obesity um, in our culture I think that that is definitely a road that you should look at because it, it, it is a full body exercise um, and for the competitive aspect it, it's a way to possibly get out of the situation that you're in I know that I was in the inner city and I saw swimming as just being fun never as something that would a ticket to get out of the situation that I was in or to um, better myself it was just fun for me and that is mainly the reason why I want to get back so much because swimming has given me so much and I just I would want African-American students and, and kids and parents to understand that swimming is another option. 